Oh, hey, Abra, what are you doing? There's a time cook button on the microwave. I was gonna hit it and see what it does. Time cook? Time cook. Time cook. <laughs> Sir Carlington the Fourth, please don't rob me. I have nothing to offer you. Oh, the microwave! The time cook! I need you! Looks like this card is cooked! Avra, what the f- Hello and welcome to the SideQuest Hot Wheels Grand Prix. We've got a 24 car six way race. Yeah, we got some, uh, we got some muscle cars, we got some, uh, some buses, some trucks. Uh, it's gonna be a nice tight close race all the way down in this entire tournament. Now we're going to have four heats of six way races. Now let's go take a look at the cars. Right. So first off, we have Hexagon Puke. Sporting number 40, this uh, ugly looking car is uh, looking to compete and uh, move on. And up next we have Bowser himself. Bowser sporting his car from Mario 3D World. The pink hot rod is ready to go. And then after that we have the spiky banana. I don't know about this uh, one. Better watch out for Donkey Kong if he ever comes after this car. Up fourth, we have the Double Decker. Uh, stopping off of one of its tour routes, it's going to take a chance here at the uh, slot race. And then up next, we have Old Blue, which happens to be yellow. I'm a little confused about this one. Yeah, Old Blue is uh, quite the blue truck you have here. Uh, I don't know why you're seeing yellow. It is blue. Is not it blue. is definitely blue. Hey, chat, is this blue? Let me know. Blue. And then finally, in this race, we have the Boom Boom Buggy. Yeah. I don't know what's boomy about this, but... Well, you can see it's got that extra tire on the back there. Um, that'll actually enhance its speed. Oh. And it's also actually a bomb, so it explodes. I see. All right. Well, let's get into oh, the race. Here comes Race Judge Willow to watch over the finish line. And here we go, here's the first race, and there they go! And in first place is, oh, Bowser hitting the, the, the gate! They got stuck! Oh no, we're gonna have to call in the crew to pull him out here. Looks like Bowser's stuck here, yeah, oh, there he goes, there's the pit crew. The ambulance, oh, here's a replay. Unfortunately. But losing is all yellow, old, I mean all blue, blue. The blue truck knocked out. Now chat doesn't have to fight over what yeah, the color blue truck. it is. We've got five racers now. And here's the next race. Oh! And oh my goodness, the ambulance was still on the field! Oh. Where's the race, Marshall? Boom Boom Buggy got eliminated. They've got to be feeling explosive right now. Maybe if they didn't have that extra tire on the back, they would have won. And now on to the next heat. Here's the next six cars. The first car, we have the Baja Blast Mobile. Taco Bell, eat your heart out. Yep, yep, yep. Hailing from New York City, it's the Orange Cab. Now, you know, I don't know if this is from New York. New York cabs are yellow, aren't they? Did I say orange? I meant yellow. That looks yellow to me, doesn't it? Hey, Chad, <laughs> is this yellow? Anyway, here's the next car. Here's Pink I'm, Power, sure pink? which kind of looks like like a salmon. Mm. What color is it? Chat, <laughs> what color is this? Up next, we have the Starry Dragster. Yeah. I don't really know what to say about this one. Looks fast. Well, actually, funny you say it. Starry Dragster, the uh, race marshals paired them up with the Retro Dragster. 
these two rivals will be fighting it out here. Ah. Well, we look forward to that fight. Absolutely. And then, and then finally we have the Wave Hunter. I'm not really sure why it's the Wave Hunter. It kind of looks like a blue jeep. They're but... hunting waves. You know, you got hey. storm chasers. They're hunting they're, waves. They're searching for tornadoes. We got wave hunters. They're searching for tsunamis. The spectator cars are watching along here. We've got six cars lined up at the top, ready to race. And they're off. And oh, the pink power car didn't even get off the start line. Where did it go? Oh, it's stuck. Wait. That leaves there it five goes. cars. There's still one more stuck at the top. The oh, Baja the, Blast. I, the Baja one didn't even get oh, off the line. No. That unfortunately means Baja they Blast. are knocked out. Baja Blast is the first, first eliminated in this heat. Next heat. Pink Power gets stuck again. The orange oh my car goodness. is stuck at the top. And, well... The orange car is stuck in the top. Pretty easy to call that one. The uh, orange power car... The blue car is stuck at the top. <laughs> this yellow car will be uh, removed from the tournament. And that concludes our segment of programming for the SideQuest Grand Prix. Stay tuned for more. That was a good one.
watching Side Quest. Story time with Mojo, bedtime edition. We will be reading Goodnight Zelda Thon. This is an adaptation in the style of Margaret Wise Brown's Goodnight Moon. This was made as a gift for executive director MC Gamer uh, at the time of Zelda Thon Cures. Goodnight Zelda Thon, presented to Super MC Gamer during Zelda Thon Cures, December 2016. Adapted by Mojo and art by all of these lovely people. In this celestial ballroom, there was a couch, and a screen, and a marathon, with a mysterious Kool-Aid brew, and there were hanging keys, and a list for sheets, and two swords of foam, and a sexy saxophone, and a lighted Triforce, and the goal wheel, of course, and some hats, and some fog, and some Franker-faced dog, and an executive director asleep like a log. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, brew. Good night, couch. Good night, screen. Good night, keys. Good night, sheets. Good night, swords of foam. Good night, saxophone. Good night, triforce. Good night, wheels, of course. Good night, hats. Good night, fog. Good night, train. Good night, dog. Good night, MC. Sleep didn't last long. Good night, donors. Good night, charity. Good night, hype everywhere. The end. And here are all the artists credited specifically, and then this copy was signed by everybody in attendance at Zelda Fun Cures. Good night. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Good side quest. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third heat of the side quest Hot Wheels Grand Prix. We got six more cars lined up for you. We went through the first two heats last time. But first, these races are brought to you by OKJiggy.com. If you need a Jiggy to help you in your everyday life, visit OKJiggy.com to get your own. And now, let's take a look at our Heat 3 lineup, ladies and gentlemen. So leading off the league, we got Blue Wheels. Blue Wheels? <laughs> yeah, those are in fact Blue Wheels. Next is the Batmobile with Handle. You think that Batman used that to carry his Batmobile around with him throughout the day? I hope not. After that, we have Luigi sporting his Mario Kart circuit car. You know, I hear if you pass this guy, he will stare you down real dirty. Afraid of that. Next to Luigi, we actually have Yoshi sporting the, a similar car from Mario Kart. I'm glad to see him back. I thought, you know, he was retired, but he's back, and I'm, I'm really just happy for him. I'm hoping he did his taxes this time. After that, we have the Gray Mamba. What can I say? Gray is new black. And lastly, we have the Purple Gem. Looking a little scarred up there in the front. I I'm not so sure about this one. I feel like Gem's, you know, seeing the inside of a dog's mouth or something. Probably. And with that, we have the six racers lined up at the start, ready to go in this first round. Oh, they're and off. they're off. Oh, and it looks wow. like the Purple Gem just couldn't make it with all the <sighs> frontal scarring. Yeah, I mean... Let me say, I think, you know, Purple Gen's seen better days. Seen better and clearer days. I don't think you could see at all. It tried its best. Next race. Here they go. All right. On the mark. It's set. And uh, Gray Mamba just couldn't handle it. So, so gray and sleek, but not fast. You know, I guess, you know, once you go gray, the best days are behind you. <laughs> And that'll do it for Heat 3. Now we're on to the last Heat, Heat number 4. Let's take a look at these cars. First up, we've got the Mountaineer. I, I don't know, it doesn't look like a car to me, but it's got four wheels, so it counts. Well, you know, I think that Mountaineer might be feeling the pressure of the hot seat. Our next challenger. Toilet car. Toilet car. Let's hope that toilet can, you know... Let's hope you can really go while you go. And hot on the heels of the hot seat, we have Yellow Leopard. Pretty sure that's green. Chat, is that green? Chat, thanks for helping us out. You know, you really lift us up, almost like our next competitor, the Little Lifter! The Little Lifter is hot and raring to go. He's ready to lift his way to the 
top of the... I don't know. He's, he's going to do his best. That's all that matters. And our next competitor, you've seen him in the Mean Bean Machine. Now get ready for the Go-Go Machine. It's Dr. Robotnik. It looks like he's going to fall on his face. Is that thing stable? I, I don't think that's, uh, that's street legal. And our final competitor of the heat, it's Linda Sedan. Oh, Linda, a hometown hero. Why, why is there a sedan in this race? I thought we were doing, like, race cars. Who let her here? Don't you dare disgrace Linda. She always baked the best cookies for the street barbecue. Yeah, but they got raisins in it. You don't, you don't eat the cookie with raisins. Are you telling me you don't like raisins? I you like raisins, but not in cookies. Not when I think they're chocolate chips. Anyway, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get going with this first race here. The cars are lined up and ready to go, and they're, and off. they're off. Oh, it looks like two of them didn't oh. go at all. Uh, what? Uh, oh, oh, there goes oh. yellow leopard. Oh. The go-go machine finally go go goes down and is out because they went too slow. I guess the go-go machine just couldn't go the extra mile. Yellow Leopard is racing for their sibling who got probably stepped on or something. I don't know. Next. They, on to the next round. Oh, the little lifter falling behind and is out. Looks like they actually, those back wheels aren't actually wheels. So... <gasps> You think that that would have given them the advantage that the boom boom buggy would have, you know, ha not had them. Fake wheels, fake win. With that, we have the four winners from each heat that pass the qualifiers and are ready to move on to the next round. Well, everybody, we'll see you next time here at the Side Quest Hot Wheels Grand Prix.
Storytime with Trina presents I Want My Hat Back by John Clausen, performed for you by the Kinstone team. My hat is gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything all day. I have been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. My hat does not look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What is a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody finds my hat? My poor hat. I miss it so much. What's the matter? I have lost my hat, and nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? It is red, and pointy, and... I have seen my hat! You! You stole my hat! <laughs> I love my hat. Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyways.
Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying watching SideQuest, A Fantastic Journey. I have a very important announcement for all of you. You just lost the game. I don't make the rules. Start your engines, we're back for the SideQuest Hot Wheels Grand Prix. We've got lots of races for you today, so stay at the edge of your seat and don't calm down. And here's all the cars that got eliminated in the first set of races. There we go, that's better. And all these great cars, including all blue, I mean yellow, I mean green. Green? Green? The Aubergine Mamba? Anyway, the track has been slightly extended for these races, and here's Heat 1 of many races we're about to watch here at the SideQuest Hot Wheels Speedway. And they're off. Oh, whoa. We're Looks gonna like a photo finish there. Oh, oh the and the double was decker. The double decker. Unfortunate. Top of the evening to you. Here's <laughs> And the next race, there they go. Oh. And Bowser wins again. We're gonna need to review that lost. replay. Oh. We're gonna have to replay here. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't, Who lost? Oh. The judge is gonna have to make an ex executive ruling. It's, I don't remember the name of this car. <laughs> Rainbow Puke, I don't remember the name of this car. <laughs> Something about puke. And here's heat two of the side quest race extravaganza. Here's the next set of cars that are going to be going at it. There they go. And it first looks like the maroon buggy thing, but the loser is going to be the the Purple yellow taxi. cab. The yellow cab. <laughs> Another replay is going to be needed for that one, folks. And the re after the replay in the marshal's booth, we've determined that it was the wave hunter or whatever it's called. That's what it's called, right? Right, race fans. We've got a special message to you today. I uh, brought you by Beldathon Games, bringing you the latest video game hits such as Zelda the Bean Baker and Zelda's Adventure. Zelda the Bean Baker? That's my favorite video game! Wow, you really do have terrible taste. I can't believe you told me that. And now into Heat 3, I see the Batmobile, but there's this giant, like, handle thing at the end of it. I don't know what that's about, but here we go. And they're off! Yeah. Looks like Luigi nice. wins. N nobody got the butt into that desk there. Ooh, and the loser is... I don't remember the name of the, the... The one car. The one car. Anyway, here's the next race. Is that, was that blue... Blue... Blue wheels? Blue wheels? Oh, yeah. Some about blue wheels. There they go! And in last place... Is that Batman? Gonna be... Oh, Batman. no! Batman! Oh, no. Not Batman. Who's, Who's gonna, gonna save protect the city Gath now? Gotham City now? Time I'm glad for... we were on the same wavelength there. <laughs> Here's the next race, Heat Four, and there they go. Oh, it's Looks not like even last place close. Be. Ooh, who's that? Who's that? The toilet. The oh, toilet man. was eliminated. Just flushed right out of the whole series. Flushed out of the entire race. But anyway, here's the next set of races. Looks like in last place going to be oh. mm. the four-wheeler thing. I'm, I'm not even sure ATVs are uh, legal in this racing series. Yeah, who let the ATV into the racing series anyway? That's not even real. All right. Anyway, here's all the cars that made it into the finals. Congratulations, everybody. Now, uh, go watch some more side quests and, you know, uh, come back when, when we're racing again. Heck yeah.
Greetings all, and welcome back to the Hot Wheels Side Quest Grand Prix. We've started with 24 cars, and now we're down to the final eight. In this video, we'll be seeing the left side of the bracket with four semifinalists. The drill is approving of the Judge extended World. car section, which now features an uphill part and a drop off at the end. Up first, we have the Yellow Banana versus Bowser, one on one square off. Oh, it looks like Bowser takes the first win. We're doing best of three for these races. It's dropping yep, positions. So if Bowser wins it here, he will be moving on to the finals. Quick, tricky start. Bowser looks like he's gaining ground, and it looks like he's going to take the next win, eliminating Yellow Banana from the competition. Looks like the Yellow Banana is finally split. No, that's fine. Like, we could talk over a little bit. He, I don't, he doesn't need that much B-roll of him winning. Really. Up next in our semi semi-finalist pairings, we've got the two old rivals. The Starry and Retro Dragsters facing off in the semis. Here we go, best of three. And they're off. Looks like the Starry Dragster takes a bit of a lead and ends up in first, getting the first win. All right. They're back up on the come inside. On, Retro Dragster. Retro Let's Dragster needs to, to come back. Round. There they go. Starry Dragster takes the lead, but it's neck and neck, and it looks like... I don't oh, even that know. that was so close. I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, let's take a look at the replay. What is it? Uh, we're going to have to turn to Judge Willow here. Judge Willow, what is the ruling? Tiebreaker. Oh, tiebreaker. Go to the tiebreaker right. course, the downhill sprint. This short little sprint features two sections, a downhill portion and the yellow drop-off. It's a tricky track here. Very likely to fall off the track. And you're not going to win that way, so it's best to stay on the track rather than go fast. This is one winner takes it all, so whoever makes it down fastest takes the finals. Takes it to the finals. They're off. Oh, and it looks like Retro Dragster fell off the course. Oh, they got stuck there. See, this is what I was saying. It's a little bit more about staying on the track than about the speed. That's yeah. when Starry Dragster will be moving on here. With that. And Retro Dragster will be going home. Thank you for watching this That'll segment. Do it for this half yeah. of the side. Yeah. I, we both, we both you started talking. I'll do the outro. Yeah, you can do the outro. Okay. okay, okay. That'll do it for this half of the semifinals. We'll catch you for the other side real soon. Keep watching Side Quest.
Welcome to Storytime with Mojo, actual story time, a giraffe and a half by Shel Silverstein. If you had a giraffe and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. If he put on a hat and inside lived a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat. If he dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. If you glued a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. And if a bungly old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. If you put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe. If you gave him a flute and he played tootie too. Let's go, Dan. You would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute. And if you used his chair to comb his hair, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. If he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk. You would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue in his shoe, playing toot on the flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk. And if you met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. If you jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk on a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike. And if a blubbery whale got a hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue in his shoe and playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail. If he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue in his shoe and a plain toot on a flute and his chair in his hair and a sneak eating cake and a skunk in the trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bag and a whale on his tail and a hole with a mole. But if you brought him a pole to climb out of the hole and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail and he gave the spike bike to a scout on a hike and he left the fat dragon because his wagon was sagging. And he gave his old chair to a tired old bear and he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. And he got a hold, and he told that old snake to go jump in the lake. And the man who bought trunk, junk bought the trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to the girl he chose. And the bee on his knee flew away with the flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you and that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute and he shrank by another half. You would have a giraffe? the end. Thank you for joining me for story time. I've been Mojo. Have a great side quest. Welcome back to the semifinals of the side quest Grand Prix. In the last set, we saw Bowser and the Starry Dragster move on. Now we'll see Luigi and Yoshi in a Mario Kart matchup. All right, we got Luigi versus Black Yoshi here. And well, Luigi's just on top of it today. 
Yeah, pulling ahead, it gets the first win. This is a best of three set to see who moves on to the finals. Where's, where's Yoshi? What happened? Well, where's Luigi? Oh, I got the wrong oh no, they took a dive. Oh no, they Luigi! Over. We're have to call the crew over. Oh. Uh, and the race marshal has declared a do-over on this race, so we're going to take this from the top and try again. I'm just glad my green brother is okay. Yep, so we got Luigi, Yoshi, I, replay. I, I think that's Luigi. It's Luigi! Oh. Luigi will be moving on to the finals. And well, Yoshi, you tried. And that's what we're about. Yeah, Yoshi's got to go do their taxes. All right, we're here with the Heat 4 finals. All right, up next we've got Linda and the Blue Racer over here. The Blue the blue Panther, the Blue, the blue Leopard. Uh, yeah, Purple Leopard? Yeah, that sounds right. I think that's all. Chat, what color is it? Orgine. Oh. Down we go. Oh, man. Oh, one win for Linda. Linda. Linda's got the win. Wait, wait. Lin Lin Linda? Why, why are you in that lane? I, I, I'm hearing that her, her car is not legal? Ooh. Linda. What the heck? So they'll be racing in the same lanes here. Down they go. That's close. And, oh. Judge Willow. Real close. Uh, Judge Willow's. Judge Willow's going to make the decision. call here. And um, oh, what it will be. They're going to go again. They're taking a seat. It's going to be a tiebreaker. We're going to see the bonus track here. The Mountain Sprint Course. The winner takes all right here on the Mountain Sprint Course. It's about stability, not speed. Oh, oh. Linda's off the track. Linda did Ooh, not make it to the finish it line. I mean, you know, serves her right for cheating. Yeah, so the purple leopard will be moving on. Linda is furious. What she wants Karen. to talk to the track manager. Anyway, here's your finalists. We've got Bowser, Starry Dragster, Luigi, and the Orange Panther. They're going to be heading into the next round to compete in the championship. Stay tuned for that. Keep watching SideQuest. Keep donating. That was good.
Hello, and welcome to Esther Skits with Betsy. Please enjoy. I can't wait to eat this bagel. Yes, you can. Yeah, I guess you're right. Knack, knack. Who is there? A mirror. I am lonely. Who parked their car on my sandwich? I did. And now, ducks. I was just about to say that. Are you serious? Totally. Oh, that's spooky. We are so in sync. Doctor, I think I might be a homosexual. How can you tell? Rainbows! Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Of psychology. So how does that make you feel? Oh no, I'm late! Are you ready to die? No. Then I'll come back later. There's something on your face! It was pain! Nice hat. Thanks. I was being sarcastic. Well, I stole your face. Knock, knock. Who's there? The door. <laughs> I can't read. I'm sorry, Jim, but I'm going to have to let you go. No, please. No! Hello, burger. I used to be a cow. Oh. Hey, buddy, you want to take this outside? Sure. Wow, what a lovely evening. This was a really good idea. I want to punch you in the face. But it's opposite day. Oh, no. Oh, man, you ever going to run out of muffins? No, because I work at the muffin factory. Oh, God, duck. Oh, God, Steve. How you been, man? Connie, do you like my new shoes? You are a chair, darling. I can dream, Harold! Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm Dad. Why did you name me this way? I have no idea how to breathe. Hey, uh, your girlfriend. She's single? Doctor, I'm afraid of backstories. When did this all start? Well, uh... You're fired! You can't fire me, I quit! You can't quit, I quit! You can't quit, you're a frog! You can't frog me, you're my wife! I'm not your wife, you're my wife! Oh hey honey, how was work? Pretty good, but I quit my job. You can't quit your job, you're fired! Ah! Hmm, this is not my arm. Hey, your chin feels nice. I sentence you to jazz. No! Do you ever get tired of being random? Me neither. Thank you for watching my Astiff movie skits. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go figure out what I'm going to do with these props I bought specifically for these. Froggy says keep enjoying side crystal. Bye! And coming up next, we have Fortnite. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to the side quest Hot Wheels Grand Prix. We're back here with the final uh, the finalists. The finalists from each heat. And now they get to go head-to-head. -head. Yep, this is going to be one-on-one -on -one races. Best of three again to come down to the last two for the championship round. Looks like the course was extended further, adding a full 180 turn, wrapping over each other. It looks like up first we have Bowser versus... I already forgot the name of that car, but it looks pretty fast. But there it goes. Bowser in the lead. Bowser, oh my goodness, we have a wreck on the track. Starry dragster at too fast. 
Turns out dragsters can't turn. And there they are. There they go again. Bowser's in the lead. Looks like Bowser's in first. And Bowser wins. Bowser takes it. Bowser is Bowser in the wins. Final. He's in the finals. Sorry, dragster made it and ends up in fourth place. Very exciting here. And up next, we have, uh, it looks like, Green Mario versus Leopard Car. And there they go. Ouch. Ouch. The pink leopard? Is it the? Is it pink? Chat. Blue? Chat. Right. What color they're is going this again. car? Is it blue? There Orange? They there they go. They're going down. Looks like Green going to take Mario it again. Green Mario first. And the match. The Magenta Leopard looks like they are eliminated. We are down to our final two. Luigi versus Bowser in a head-to-head -head face off to see who takes the final victory. The course has been extended slightly and added a jump because, you know, safety. Because, yeah, why not? That's going to be the making of a very, very interesting race, I think. Everyone here is just waiting in anticipation for this last race. Looks like Green Mario's ready to go. Bowser... Not ready yet, but... But before that, a, a quick word from our sponsor. Final race brought to you by Boomtown Inc. With over 10 million nano-billion joules of clean energy generated, Boomtown Inc. wants to be your, uh, barber? Visit boomtowninc.org to learn more. And there, there they, they go. go. Bowser started out with a quick lead, but looks like Luigi's pulling ahead. Mm, I, oh, Luigi wins. Luigi takes the I'm first I'm sorry, point. Green Mario wins. Is that Mario? I can't spell. Is that an M or an L? Blue Mario. Lining up for the second round. Orange Mario. <laughs> ready to go. They go Here they neck go. And neck. Uh, and, oh, it looks like... Uh, 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 Pur purple Mario. Purple Mario takes purple point Mario. two. Wow. If they win this last race and they take the championship, it's all down to this. Bowser needs a comeback of a century. He wants a chance to not be a loser. Boy, I can't wait to watch Fuchsia Mario just take this complete win. Let's see where it goes. And Line Magenta up, Mario go. is off. There they go. They're pulling the head. They're coming around the bend. And who wins? Oh, Chartreuse Mario close. takes the win. Chartreuse and, and Mario. And just like that takes the tournament. Coming in first. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming, Fortnite. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what's coming up next. But keep watching. Keep donating. I, I, I was thinking something like, that's it for the Hot Wheels <laughs> Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. Back to stuff. But Well, we got Fortnite. Back to Fortnite.
Welcome to Story Time with Mojo. An actual story. The Wonky Donkey. Words and music by Craig Smith. Illustrations by Katz Crowley. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw. And he only had three legs. He was a wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw. He only had three legs and one eye. He was a winky, wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye, and he liked to listen to country music. He was a honky donkey, winky, wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye, he liked to listen to country music, and he was quite tall and slim. He was a lanky honky tonky winky wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim, and he smelled really, really bad. He was a stinky dinky lanky honky tonky winky wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. And that morning he'd gotten up early and hadn't had any coffee. He was a cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. He haw. He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. That morning he got up early and hadn't had any coffee and he was always getting up to mischief. He was a hanky panky cranky stinky dinky lanky honky tonky winky wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. He haw. He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. That morning he got up early and hadn't had any coffee. He was always getting up to mischief, but he was quite good looking. He was a spunky, hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. He The end. I hope you've enjoyed story time with Mojo. The cat has enjoyed story time with Mojo. Hello, dear. Hello and welcome to the 2021 Rubber Duck Racing Championship. The tournament is simple. There are five rounds. The winner of each round will move on to our final round, which a champion will be declared. Our ducks are ready for round one. In this race, we've got Buzzy, Volley, Stripes, Book Duck, and Baby Bear. And away we go to kick off the 2021 Rubber Duck Racing Tournament. A slow tight roll to the finish, Stripes and Baby Bear, and Stripes is going to win it out. Sorry to all the Volley fans out there, but they did not make it to the finish this time. But with that, congratulations to our round one winner, Stripes. And now, moving on to our second round, we have the Squash Duckler, Cool Pink, Blue Boy, Spotty, and White Book. The round is underway. It looks like Cool Pink has won. Let's take a second look. And they did! Cool Pink wins the round! Unfortunately, White Book did not make it to the finish line. That means your round winner, Cool Duck, can cool off until the final round. Captain, Papa Bear, Celeste, Pinky, and Blue 2 await the bucket dump for round 3. And away we go! Papa Bear gets a big jump, and they're gonna take the win! And congratulations to Papa Bear. We'll see them in the final round soon. In our penultimate qualifying round, we have Bumble, the Reading Siblings, Fairy Duck, and Dottie. Let's see how they do. A close race. Bumble tumbles to the front and takes the win. Let's take a look at the replay. Get ready for Bumble. Catch them in the final round. And now our final qualifying round. Watch out for your fan favorites. Mama Bear, Liberty, Cool Blue, Giraffe and the chicken. The bucket dumps and who's gonna win this? Liberty and Mama Bear are in a dead heat. We're gonna have to look at this one again. It's so close. 
the judges are looking it over, and they're going to award Mama Bear the win. And by narrow margins, Mama Bear joins Papa Bear in the final round. Here it is, the final round. Our champion will be decided here. In the running, we have Stripes, Cool Pink, Papa Bear, Bumble, and Mama Bear. Our competitors are all set at the starting line. The final dump of the tournament. Mama Bear gets a good jump, but Cool Pink tumbles ahead, and they're gonna win! Let's take a look at that replay and see some incredible duck racing here. And that wraps up our tournament. Congratulations to Cool Pink for winning it all. And thank you for watching the 2021 Rubber Duck Racing Championship.